Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Better Man Studios, and in this video, since I feel like I'm going to be calling it a night for UI and maybe do a couple other videos on other things, uh, I want to give you at least one uh, kind of small snippet inside of the UI on how to do events, like clicking a button. So, uh, I'm going to create our canvas, canvas, and I'm going to create a button inside of that canvas, a button, and this button will say click me. Click me. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to make it so that if I click this button, uh, we'll log out. Uh, Hello, you've clicked me or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to go to create. We're going to create C sharp uh, script. And we're going to name that script uh, click button. So I am here inside of the click button script and we are going to now create a public method. We're gonna say public uh, void click uh, clicked. And what we're gonna do inside of here is we're gonna say debug.log. You have clicked the button, save. And that's basically it, that's all we have. We have a public method clicked and we have some functionality inside for whenever the button is clicked. So we're going to jump back into Unity and what we're going to do is we can put this script anywhere in the world. Uh, where a lot of people like doing it is they like putting it on the canvas and having a bunch of public methods or you know some people like putting it on the button and having the public methods. Some people like having an extra object that's just floating around as all the public methods. But we're going to stick it on the canvas. So we're going to click this, we're going to drag it on the canvas. So the script uh, click button is now on the canvas. If we go to the button, there's this thing that says on click right here. And of course, we can hit a plus down here, which basically, uh, notice it says this doesn't do anything. We can hit plus, and we can hit plus a few times, so when we click this button, it can fire off multiple things. Obviously, we only want to fire off one thing right now. And there's a blank thing here, this thing that you can't read because it's getting cut off by an inspector, and this thing that's grayed out. Great, thanks. Uh, so what we want to do is, in this blank socket, we're going to drag the object that has our script. So let's drag our canvas into that. And then all of a sudden, you'll see this no function pop up. You'll see a bunch of options, and these are actually classes that are a part of this object. And uh, they're probably just doing this with some basic reflection. If we go down here to click button, which is the name of our script, look at that click button, look at that click button, uh, you'll notice that there are some methods in here. And of course, uh, those methods are all just coming from the base mono behavior class, blah, blah, blah. But here's the one we created called clicked. So I'm going to select that one as my option. I'm going to press play. And then I'm going to do the one thing that I was born to do. Click a button. Click. And notice it says you have clicked the button. I click it multiple times. The counter goes up. Now, just to prove a point, because that's all I do with my life is prove points, I'm going to hit plus sign, and then I'm going to uh, drag the canvas in, and then I'm going to go over here, go to click button, click clicked, and now I have the same exact function being called, but I have two calls to it. So if I press play, can you guess what's going to happen? Of course, it's going to say it once. I'm just kidding. It's going to say it twice. So each time I click the button, it's going to say it two times. Uh, so that's basically the event system, and you'll notice that there are various uh, events that are attached to certain uh, types of UI components. You can create your own events, and you can attach event listeners and all kinds of crazy stuff, and we will talk about those soon enough. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and thank you so much for watching this. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Like I just said, I'm going to repeat myself. And until next time, again, thanks for watching.